I, I was going to talk about my, my brother, Chuck, because mm-hmm. we were really, really, really close. I mean, all growing up, we were close. And uh, he went to Sturgis in 2011 and had a motorcycle accident. I think he had a heart attack and he died. And uh, we were constantly would get back to the, the thing of, you know, well, you know, if I die, I'll get up with you. And, or, you know, there was no haunting <laughs> or anything. But he always said that he would he would let me know, I guess, because he was older than me. He figured he would die first or something. I don't know. But the day that he the day after he died, I was with my grandson standing on the other side of a table here. And my grandson looked at me and said, who is that guy right there? And he pointed across the table. And I said, um, <laughs> who? I don't see anybody. And he said, that guy right there, there's a funny face. And I said, well, it was a scary face. And I said, well, what's scary about his face? What kind of face is he making? And he said, he's smiling. And so I said, well, that's, that's probably Chuck. And he's probably smiling because he's never seen you. And now he, he sees you. Wow. And so that that was really cool to me. I didn't see him, but I know I've, I've had enough experience with all this stuff to know that whenever somebody is around or coming around or mm-hmm. has been there, when they leave, it's quiet. And you didn't even notice that there's a really loud noise the entire time they're there. There's a very loud noise. I don't know if you could call it static mm-hmm. or uh, it's just noise. But when they're gone, it's quiet. 